Yeah. Alright, my peoples, my peoples. 245 Familia. We here with Alfonso. What's going on? Uh, Alf the Fonz. Okay. Fonz. Fonz is helping me. With two people working on one video should make for a better video. Fonzo has been learning how to edit. The plan is to be able to produce more content, more quality content, more often um, to help you guys and help grow this guy and the channel and the industry. And we're gonna continue to put in work, but you know, one video a week, I don't think that's enough, right? I mean, we're trying to, we're trying to drop, we're trying to drop a whole bunch of stuff. Like we're trying to do the year photos, my feedback videos, the vlogs, more haircut tutorials. Just, there's so many ideas. Workshops. Yeah, and I mean, the, the what? The workshops. Oh, the live stream workshops on Saturday, Fridays or Saturday nights. And the only, I can't do it all myself. So, Fonzo's gonna help us out. The Fonz. He's gonna help make it happen. So, I'm excited. But nonetheless, we got a new haircut tutorial. This one is kind of like a full hog almost. We're gonna leave, um, we're gonna try to leave it. He wants it bald in size, but he wants to have the, the, the ice pick sideburns so we're gonna leave it a little bit dark there and this texture of hair is more fine more refined straight texture of hair and uh nonetheless let's go ahead and get started hope you guys learn a lot like always make sure you make sure you subscribe comment below let me know what you think about it smash that like button smash that like button let's die a legend see you at the end of the video we out we start off with the balding clipper um, these are Andy's ZRs and we have the outliner blade on them. As you can see, we're going to leave his hairline in the front alone. We want to leave the sideburns especially because he wants to keep that. The rest of it we're going to bald out. Then we'll start our next guideline and that's going to be with the wall icons, limited editions. It's all the way open. We go up about an inch like I tell you guys. Curve it down a little bit so you can still keep that hairline dark. And it's important guys that you go up an inch. Alright, so now we're going to start taking down some bulk where the full hawk is going to, you know, start to create its shape. You're going to go up above the ridge. You got to go up above the ridge to create that full hawk look. Now, you're not going right into the bulk of his hair on the top, but you're going to kind of go in at an angle, take some of that bulk down with the number three guard. Now, we have a number two guard and it's open. We'll follow up right underneath that and it's going to look almost like I'm going right where I left off with the three but I'm literally right a little bit underneath that then under that I'll go with the two closed and now we're going to move on to the number one guard all the way open and that's going to create our next guideline as you can see we're going up almost more than an inch here because we're blending right into number two guard we know what we're blending into From here, we have the closed guard, closed um, blade, no guard. We can start blending the first guideline out because we know we're eventually going to blend into a number one guard. So we open the lever a quarter of a time, a quarter of an inch up at a time until it's blended out. And you don't want to go above that guideline that you see there. Um, if you do and you have, like, let's say, the blade open, it's not that big of a deal it's not that big of a deal you're not gonna raise the blend up higher you guys can see that that guideline is pretty much erased It's a nice little blend and this is the famous gray wall half guard it's a 116 it's the same thing as like a number zero for the Andes masters or the purple guards and we're gonna start off closed and we're gonna blend up. Same thing, and you know, gradually open that lever until you've blended it, until you've created a nice transition. You can go from open to close and blend down from that from that guideline you see up there, or you can go from close and gradually open it up till you reach the guideline that's up there. And this is how you don't get lost as you're blending, as you're cutting hair. 
that that guideline is exactly that it's a guideline it tells you you know what not to go above or what you're blending to and we know we created that guideline with the one guard open You know, this guard is also referred to as like your blending guard because it, it really does bring everything together. And this is like around the area between the blade open and the, the half guard. This is kind of where you spread the blend. Everything else, you know, is, is quite simple to blend to. So walls, sometimes you got to use this one and a half guard, which I personally think is a flimsy guard. But, you know, if you have the premium one and a half, it's awesome. Um, but this sometimes you need this guard in order to blend the one open into the two guard You don't let me rephrase that you don't need it, but it just makes it easier And you know if you have to go back with the one guard open like I'm doing here you can just to you know give it more of a, a cleaner transition and if you have to go back above the one one and a half guard that you use with the two guard to make it a more gradual transition do it ultimate ultimately you know these are these are extra steps that you have to you know figure out if you need them for every particular client because everybody's different some people they blend very easily. Some people, it's a little bit tougher. You got to go back and forth into these guards. And you guys can follow along, obviously, with the captions. Sometimes I'll get us, uh, you know, fall behind. But you can follow follow with me with the captions that Mr. Fonzo provide for you guys. I've been cutting this particular client for a long time now. Um, since he was in high school now he's you know done with school and everything done with college and it's dope to see him see him growing I think he's, he's a firefighter now so it's pretty cool seeing your clients you know stick with you for so long and now I'm just detailing you know the the initial steps the system we've gone through it now we're just taking that extra bit of time to um to detail and let's say you know i got 10 i got 15 minutes left after fading him up you know this is the time that you take your time because you don't have another client you you, you have an appointment and he's not coming in for another 15 minutes so you might as well use it all up and take your time with your client make him do the do the extras that make him feel like it's an experience and not just a haircut you know and part of that is using product is asking asking him if he wants product and you know just asking questions I guess before you kick him out the chair I got I gotta say Fonzo did a really good job with the captions I don't think I'm this I'm this spot on with him But it's going to be pretty cool um, with these videos now that we have two two people working on that's more energy on them that's you know more time for me to get a little bit more creative as well and add things like plugins and stuff to create the quality of the videos you know bring them to a higher standard and I'm, I'm hoping that this strategy is what's going to get the channel over the hundred thousand subscriber you know hump that we've been trying to get over And guys, you know, with this haircut, if this is something that you like when you see the finished product, just show them, just screenshot, you know, a picture of it, show it to your barber. It's going to be very hard to explain this haircut. As you can see, the, the, the blends coming together. I think it already came together. I'm just like OCD with it and I just continue to, you know, detail the blend.
cool. And, uh, you know, I'm lowering the sideburns a little bit. But now we're going to start lining him up, as you can see. Using the Andy's T outliners. They're adjusted, but they're not zero gapped. I could use this on kids, on the back of necks, but I turn somebody red. Because I know that I'm going to follow it up with the razor anyway. It's going to be sharper with the razor. Here, since the hair is longer, I like to comb the hair up the long hair up and then line up underneath it if you comb the hair down then line up you're gonna create some bangs and I like to start in the middle and then uh, use that as a guideline work my way out using my index figure finger to keep you know to as leverage so I'll put my, my index finger on like his forehead or something to stay, you know, stable with the, with the trimmer. And you can see I, I'll, I'll put a line on the ice pick part, then I'll go to the very top of the arch, put a line there, and then I'll connect, I'll connect the two. See how I just did right there? And that's how I create a nice C cup. He wants a part, so we'll create the part. Usually like to do the top part of the part, then I'll flip my trimmer over and detail the bottom part. And we'll also follow that up with the razor. You don't want to make it too thick. Some people will, you know, if they like it thick, they'll let you know. So here we're gonna do uh, scissor over comb. And you can see that I'm angling the um, the comb I'm shaping it I'm pretty much just sculpting it into a full hog at the angle that I want and then we'll follow it up just to make sure that the um, the length at the very very middle at the very top is to the length of his liking you could texturize it some if you want you could point cut it do all the extra stuff give it some more texture if that's what he likes Shaping it into a faux hawk, really, the way that I use my angles when I'm when I'm cutting the hair. And of course, we gotta break out the two and forty-five save gel. Shave gel made by barbers for barbers. Has vitamin E that replenishes the skin. It's got aloe vera that soothes the skin. Added slide for the blade is not too thick, not too sticky. You know, I formulated it myself, man, so I, I made it to my preference. I understand my preference isn't everybody's preference, but give it a try. This is how I love my shave gel, and I think, you know, the feedback from all you guys who've, who've tried it out has been amazing. So, I appreciate it, guys. Using the 245 razor. And the blade that I use, you guys ask me all the time. I'm using Astro right now. But honestly, these companies, they they don't stay consistent. You know, you know, one quarter I might be using Personas and all of a sudden they start slacking, they change packaging, they change manufacturers. So then I got to move to another company. I left off with Dorco Primes, the blue ones, and they started slacking. So now I've been, I've been using Astros now for a few weeks and that's what I've been rocking with. So we put some hair gel in there, styled it to his liking, showed him the mirror. He likes it, and uh, of course using some aftershave, and it is a finished product, man. Let me know what you guys think. Definitely, definitely subscribe, and appreciate you guys watching, as always. See you on the next video.